What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli for another easy and delicious recipe. Now guys, I had a sweet tooth. Now when I get a sweet tooth, I go looking for chocolate. And guess what? I whipped me up a good batch of chocolate in this video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make hot fudge pudding cake. This dessert is so delicious so good, so rich with chocolate, I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it. But you might put on a few calories. So that means you gotta get in the gym after it, guys. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe, so let me tell you what we have. All right here, we're gonna use some white sugar, uh, some light brown sugar. Definitely need some of the Hershey's cocoa unsweetened. Make sure you use unsweetened. Salt, some baking powder. We're going to use flour, butter, unsalted butter, and some vanilla extract. Not be the ingredients, but man, this dessert is delicious. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys, so I've already measured out our ingredients. So let me tell you what we have now. We're going to have two parts to this recipe. It's going to be the cake side and the fudge side. So let me, t this side right here, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna use for the cake. And on this side, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna use for our fudge. So over here, we have one cup of flour. We have a half a cup of that white sugar. And I forgot to add in the shot milk. We definitely gonna need milk. So this is three fourths cups of milk. We have a fourth of a cup, which is four tablespoons of unsalted butter, a fourth of a cup of the unsweetened cocoa, we have a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is what we're gonna use for our cake. Now on this side, we're gonna use this for our fudge. So we have a half a cup of the light brown sugar. Make sure you use light brown sugar. We have a half a cup of um, the white granulated sugar, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. So this is more unsweetened cocoa and three teaspoons of baking powder. Also what we're do gonna use for the fudge is one and one fourth cups of boiling hot water. So right now I got the water boiling. So once we start preparing our fudge, then I will bring the boiling water into the shot. All right, let's move on. All right guys, so before we get started, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start preparing our cake mixture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour and we're gonna add it to this bowl along with our sugar our salt and basically these are just our dry ingredients first and our cocoa powder and i'm just going to give it a whisk like this kind of get that mixed in all right so what we're going to do now is start adding the the wet ingredients which is our butter make sure you melt your butter of course the vanilla extract and our milk and we're going to get this bad baby mixed up and guys i think we're there i think we got to mix well no lumps it's smooth we want to make sure that it's definitely smooth and this is what we have take a look at that all right so let's move on all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to add our batter to a grease dish now this is the dish i'm going to use the bacon in so what you want to do is make sure you grease it and you want to just pour your batter. All right, so what you wanna do now is you just wanna make sure you spread that evenly throughout the whole, over the whole pan. You can do it by shaking it a little bit like that, just to make sure it's even. I think that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step because we don't want this sitting too long before we put it in the oven. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, so now we're gonna prepare our fudge mixture. And by the way, guys, I did add the baking powder in that last step. So make sure you add the baking powder. I did realize that I set it to the side, but I did go ahead and add it. So make sure you add your baking powder as you're mixing your cake mix. So we're gonna go ahead and create our, make our fudge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our brown sugar, our white sugar, and those three tablespoons of uh, cocoa Unsweet cocoa, and we're just gonna give it a mix like this. We're just gonna get it mixed up. All right, 
All right, let's move on. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our brown and white sugar mixture and all we're going to do, let me turn it this way, is we're gonna take that and we're just gonna sprinkle that over the top just like this. And you wanna kinda of make sure you kinda of even it. And I'm just gonna kinda of try to smoothen it out a little bit. You don't wanna go too deep. You know, just kinda of smooth off the tops. All right, just like that. And now what we're gonna do, I got my boiling water over here. So what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna use one and one fourth cups of boiling water. So what I'm gonna do is you're just going to pour this on the top like this. Don't mix it, just pour it on the top slowly. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, I mean, it's the refrigerator. We're gonna put it in the oven immediately after we do this. And we're gonna cook it for, or bake it for about 35 minutes until the middle of the cake is set. Not really cakey, but kind of, you know, gooey, fudgy type. So let's go ahead and sit this in the oven and we'll be right back. And guys, this is what we have after 35 minutes in the uh, oven. So let's see what we got. In. Let's put it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, we. Look at that, guys. Yes, yes. All right, so what I'm going to do, ooh, man, it's hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for about, about three to five minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate, and I'll be, matter of fact, not a plate, I'm going to put it in a bowl, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now it's time for quality control. I'm telling you, I can't wait to try this out. Man, take a look at this right here. <laughs> Good. That's a lot of calories. I've been working out too, and I think this is gonna kill probably about a week of my um, calories that I lost. I'm putting them back on with this right here. So let me go ahead and get some of this. I added some um, little vanilla ice cream to it. Take a look at that, guys. Oh yeah. Hmm. Man, God, this is good. Man, they, especially if you like warm, I love warm chocolate pudding. And this is, this is, this is the spot right here. This is the spot. Guys, you're going, you're going to enjoy this right here. I'm telling you, you can have a cheat day. You don't have to eat that much of it, but get your, you need a cheat day. You need to try this. This is some good stuff. And you already know what I'm gonna say. These some good groceries. Mm. Oh, it's not, you know, sometimes the chocolate is too rich. Not this. It's on point. It's on point, guys. So, mm. until then, because I ain't gonna be able to stop eating. I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything, and I am out. Peace.